As a media composer, you probably want to promote your music on YouTube. Let's see how we can come from a single photo video with music to a video like this. To create such a video, you need three things. First, you need Synthesia. That's a software program for people who want to learn to play the piano. Uh, you can try it out for free. Uh, I've put the download link in the video description below. Secondly, you need a program to record your computer screen and a video editing software program. Um, for both, I use ScreenFlow, that's a paid option. But if you're on a tight budget and you have a Mac, you can use um, and you can use the free iMovie app to create your video. Third and last, you need a MIDI track of your music file. And uh, I guess you probably already know how to create a MIDI file. It's quite easy. You can export in Logic Pro X when you are working on a Mac or in any other DAW uh, your music track as a MIDI file. Um, when you have those three things, you are good to go. So uh, let's get some close action. So I've opened Synthesia, which is quite a simple and easy program to use. And the uh, first thing you need to do is add your MIDI tracks to Synthesia. And you can do that by clicking on settings, songs, and then the plus symbol. And then you can locate the folder where your MIDI tracks are in on your computer and add that to Synthesia. And when you've done that and you go to play a song, you should see your MIDI tracks here in this list. And you can select one and create your own Synthesia piano roll. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to use the upbeat and inspiring orchestral because that music track has lots of lovely MIDI blocks in it. So let's continue. And before we start the piano roll, um, you have to start your screen recorder. And as I told you before, I use ScreenFlow, which is a paid program. But if you are on a tight budget and you own a Mac, you can use the default QuickTime player uh, which has a screen recorder option in it after the latest update, which is quite awesome. Um, just record your screen, not the audio of your computer, computer, not the audio of your microphone. Just record your screen because we are going to add the audio, which is your music track, to it in a later stadium. So when you started your screen recorder, press continue and let Synthesia do what it does and what it does good. Letting those MIDI blocks drop down to the piano. And you have to know, I love those MIDI blocks. You gotta love those MIDI blocks. They just look awesome. And it's quite obvious how this works. They just keep falling down and keep falling down and keep falling down. And this track is quite long, two minutes and 40 seconds. So we are going to skip this part and go to uh, ScreenFlow where I can show you my finished project. And um, that's a, a quite simple project. It only contains five elements. Um, an audio track, which is my music track, a background picture, the piano roll, which we just recorded with the screen recorder software, and two title blocks, which are totally optional, of course, but I thought they uh, needed to be added to this project, um, but it's optional. Um, you have to do two things to have the end result, which I'm going to show you at the end of this tutorial. The, the first thing is you have a background picture and you have the recorded piano roll. And to show them both, you need to adjust the opacity of one of them, the one that's on the foreground, in my case, the piano roll. So I've changed the opacity to 80%, but it's free, of course, 
to choose your own settings so just play around with it uh, which looks nice and uh, I thought in my case 80% uh, looks really nice um, the second thing you need to do is make sure that the MIDI blocks are in sync with your audio because if they aren't in sync it looks stupid so you have to find the moment when the first MIDI blocks hit the piano and in my case that is on 130 that's the moment when my audio file needs to start so that the MIDI blocks and the audio are in sync and that's it you're ready to go you can render this as a video and upload it to YouTube Vimeo or whatever and um, the end result should look similar like this